Let's take a look at how we can upload an extension for Visual Studio to the Visual Studio Marketplace online. Now the Visual Studio Marketplace is where uh, people upload extensions so that everybody can download them and install them into Visual Studio very easily. Let's first go to uh, Visual Studio where I have my extension project. It's right here. I've, I'm done building my extension and I've um, built it into a v6. So if I look in my bin folder, I can see that the output here is a v6 file. And the v6 is an extension. So this is actually the finished product that I now want to upload to the marketplace. So I'm going to head back here to the marketplace where I can hit publish extension in the upper right corner. That's going to prompt me to sign in using my Microsoft account. And if I uh, haven't uploaded any extension before, it asks me to fill in like a few details like name and uh, other things like that. Just very uh, short little profile. And then it puts me into a list of all the extensions that I own. And here's my list. This is a list of the extensions that I've updated uh, and uploaded over the years. Uh, if this is your first time, your list will be empty. Now you can go in and click the new extension drop down and select between Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, and Azure DevOps. So you can upload extensions for each of these different platforms. And in this video, we're going to use Visual Studio. And the first thing it asks for is the file, the v6 file itself. So we're going to select that and hit continue. It's going to upload that. And it's going to pre-fill all the information that it was able to gather from the extension itself. And then it asks for a name. So this is usually the name of the extension without uh, spaces or any special characters. And it's used for the URL for the landing page on the marketplace for this extension. So I'm going to fill that in. See here it was able to find out what version, display name, and the ID I had in my manifest file even the logo icon that I chose, and the short description. Now these are all things that are going to show up in the Visual Studio's Extension Manager dialog and elsewhere. Um, but here I have a bigger field to in, um, write some markdown for uh, the page itself. And this is basically where I want to showcase my extension so people can see what it does, have a really nice description. And I already have a markdown file right here. And I'm going to grab the content of that, paste it in. We get a little preview. And then I'm going to select Tools and Categories. And this particular category, or sorry, extension, um, has to do with, let's say, Web and Testing. So I'm going to select two categories. And in Tags, I could say something like, unit for unit test and uh, let's say uh, and web test just like that then I can say should it be free paid or is it a trial no this is a free extension and if I have a uh, source code repository URL like a github URL or bitbucket or any public facing URL for where the source code is I should uh, put it in here and this is highly recommended that you do because that will drive people to your extension repo for any pull requests or issues and so on and that's all you have to do and now we can click save and upload and that takes us back to the page where we can now scroll down and find where is it? Let's see here. My demo extension. We can see here a few things are happening. So one is that it's now verifying. Okay, so it's running some sort of verification on the extension itself up on the marketplace. And so it checks for like security things and uh, other uh, things that it's important that it verifies. And it could take a couple of minutes. Another thing we can see is that it is not public. So by default, when you upload a new extension, it's private. That means that it's only you, when you're logged in, that can see this extension. And once it's done verifying, we can mark it as public. So let's, let's fast forward and uh, see you again when it's done verifying. 
So now the extension has been verified and um, we can see here we can do some actions by clicking right here and we can now make this public. So let's do that and we're going to say OK, make it public. And now if we open this extension, we can see here that uh, we have a page. Everyone can now access it. Um, and that's it. We have our extension ready on the marketplace, fully uploaded for everyone to use. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you.